Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well, staying at home and staying safe. This morning, we're going to do a maths video, okay? So we're going to recap a little bit on what we did on Sunday um, with fractions and multiplying fractions, doubling, trebling, multiplying by four. And then we're going to go on to today's work, which is long multiplication. Okay, so what you need before you start is you need a whiteboard and a marker, or else you need a pen and a piece of paper, okay? Because I'm going to stop at different times throughout the video, and I'm going to get you to do a little bit of work, and then we're going to correct it together. Try and do it like we do it in class a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to switch the screens, and I'm go going to go on to paint. Now you must excuse me. I'm old, not as good as computers as you are, so my writing might be great on paint and the computer. But you have to forgive me because I look at lots of your bad writing all throughout the year. Okay, so we're going to start with a fraction sum. Okay, so for example, we're going to, we had doubling fractions the last day. So we're, we have 2 over 3. And we need to double 2 over 3. So we all know when we're doubling, we multiply by 2. But in some papers the last day, I saw multiply by 2 like this. When we're doing fractions, we can't just multiply by a whole number without turning it into fractions first. So if we multiply 2 by 2 is 4, 2 by 3 is 6, it's 4 over 6, it's just an equivalent fraction, it's the same thing. So when we're multiplying fractions, we need to put the whole number over 1. Okay? So we put the 2 over 1, and then we multiply top by top, and bottom by bottom. Okay, so we have 2 times 2, which is 4, and we have 1 times 3, which is 3. Then we have 4 over 3. We know this is a top heavy fraction, so we can change this into a mixed number because the top is bigger than the bottom. So 3 into 4 goes once, and we have 1 left over. So our answer is 1 and 1 over 3. Okay, now your turn. Okay, so I want you 3 over 4 multiplied by 3. So I'm going to give you a quick head start. We know we put 3 as a fraction. We put a 3 over 1. So off you go now. I want you to get your pen and paper or your whiteboard and your marker. I want you to pause that sum and do it for me. Okay, we're back. So... If you got it right, give yourself a tick and a pat in the back. And if you got it wrong, make sure you figure out where you went wrong and correct it. So we have 3 times 3, top by top, which is 9. And we have 4 times 1, which is 462. No, it's not if you're listening. 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 9 over 4. Anyone that's asleep, I hope you've waken up now. How many times does 4 go into 9? Goes in 2 times. With one left over, it's two times four is eight, so we have one left over to get to nine, and we put it over four. So our answer is two and one quarter. Well done if you got it right. Make sure you correct your mistake if you got it wrong. Okay, on to today. On to today. Sorry. Here we are, yes. Okay, so today we are doing long multiplication. Let me just check now the page. So we're doing long multiplication, question seven to question 12, and it's distances. So the first one says London, London to Oxford, 52 miles, 13 trips. How far, many miles do you travel? So you do 52 miles 13 times. So we know then we have to multiply. Okay, so here's what we do. So we have 52 times 13. Make sure you put your multiplication sign. Here we go. I'm actually fairly happy. My writing's really good. Okay, so first of all, we have three times two here. Three times two equals, yes, six. Heard some of you shouting at the screen. Three times five is 15. So 
So we just write the full number, 15. Then we always write here in the bottom right corner, zero, every time, no matter what you do. Then we have one times two, which is two, and we have one times five, which is five. Then we need to add our two lines together, 1.6 and 5.20. We get six, seven, and six. So our answer is 676. Okay, your turn. Again, I'm gonna write down the sum, number eight. So we have 24 times 16, and you are gonna pause the video and try and have a go at it yourself. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's start of a new topic. Try your best, and then we can correct it. Well done if you get it correct. So pause your video now, and off you go. Okay, we're back. So here we have six times four, which is 24. So we put the four here, and we carry the two up here to add on after. Six times two is 12, plus two is 14. So we have 100. And 44. Then again, what do we put here? Yes, zero. Then we have one times four, which is four, and one times two, which is two. Then we have our answer four times four plus zero. See, it's important we put the sign. Four plus zero is four, four plus four is eight, and one plus two, really hard, three. Okay, so our answer is 384. Well done if you got that one correct. If you didn't, have a look where you made the mistake. Okay, now I want you to go on and finish up the number 12. Take a picture of it and send it to your teacher on Class Dojo. And if you have any questions, please get in touch with us on Class Dojo. Hope to everybody, excuse me, parents and students are doing really good. I miss you all and I know all your teachers miss you. But make sure you're staying at home and staying safe, and we will see you during the week on our Zoom meeting. Okay? Bye for now. Happy learning.